Welcome back. The technology world is focused on Las Vegas and the 2019 Consumer Electronics Show this week. Toyota is looking to make a big splash by unveiling new autonomous and electric vehicles at CES. Joining me right now from Las Vegas is the executive vice president of Toyota North America, Bob Carter. Bob, it's good to have you on the program this morning. Thanks so much for being here. Good morning. Thank you, Maria. Well, it's interesting to see you, a car company, Toyota, uh, at the Consumer Electronics Show. It basically tells you how connected the auto sector has become with technology. You're unveiling the P4 automated driving test vehicle. Tell us about it. We, we are. This is, I believe, our fourth or fifth year where we're introducing our newest technology particularly in the autonomous uh, driving area here at Consumer Electronics. The vehicle that we're introducing today is a concept. We call it P4. It's our fourth platform. And we're introducing our, what we call our Guardian, uh, our Guardian technology. Uh, what Guardian is, is uh, considers a co-pilot sitting in the passenger seat for you. We're going to sh demonstrate to the media today where we actually uh, experienced an accident on, on Interstate 80. And what the Guardian technology does, it's an offshoot of our development for fully autonomous, is it monitors all the conditions around the car uh, all the time. And in this example of this one unfortunate accident that, uh, that nobody was hurt in, the one car drifted over its lane into another car and then pushed it into the guardrails, a very typical situation. Well, our Guardian technology senses that and then momentarily takes the controls from the driver, uh, both acceleration, braking, and steering, and can navigate the car out of a, the area of the accident and then immediately hand back the uh, controls to the driver. So the end result is the driver is still in control of the car. He has the, the enjoyment of driving, but yet in an unforeseen circumstances, technology can take over to avoid the accident. That's really incredible. So the Research Institute uh, at Toyota is doing important work in the artificial intelligence field, along with other technological advances. Is this where this, this comes from, your AI business? Yes, it, it was developed by Toyota uh, Research Institute that we have in the Silicon Valley. Uh, they're working on a number of different technologies for the future that we believe is really going to enhance the safety of society in the future. You know, Maria, it's unfortunately, but uh, it's something that does happen. In, the, in North America last year, there were 40,000 fatalities on our road. And if we're able to introduce technology that theoretically can reduce that by 10-fold ten, or perhaps even 100-fold, we can make consumers and society safer. In fact, we are, we are so convinced that this technology is the, uh, is the correct path for the future that we're opening up uh, to other auto manufacturers. We would love to see every vehicle on the road today have this sort of technology available for consumers. Is it, is it resonating, Bob? Because I know when you look at electric vehicles, we've been talking about electric vehicles for a lot of years now, and they still haven't resonated with the public in a big way. You know, even with, with, with oil prices, when oil prices went all the way up, they still didn't stop buying big cars to, to a great extent. Well, you're, you're exactly right, Maria. The, uh, last year, there was 17.2 million vehicles sold. And approximately 1% of those were full battery electric vehicles. Uh, we're very, uh, we have a very robust system that we use with hybrids, which is a combination of our gasoline, uh, gasoline engines as well as our electrification that we've been on the market since 1997. We think it's going to take some time for the market to advance. But later on right. next decade, electrification, we believe, will become a mainstream of the North American market. All right, electrification and technology, great combination. Bob, it's good to see you. Thanks so much.